Hey guys, today we're back with another video. I'm just getting back here to the house after an early morning rip for the GT3 RS. Oh man, guys, this thing on the back roads is a lot of fun, but I think we have a few projects. So let's get right on into it. Our garage is looking pretty good here. We do have a few smaller projects, but other than that, guys, I really do like it how it came out here, and having the two-post lift does come in pretty handy. Actually, I think I'm going to put the F-150 on here, do the 1,000-mile break-in uh, oil change pretty soon as well here. But let's head on out of the garage. There's a few things happening, and a few days ago, guys, I was sleeping at night. I hear, heard a huge sound, and I looked out the window, and as you guys can see, we actually had a tree fall down. It was a little bit windy, there was a little bit rain, the ground's a bit soft, and looks like uh, the tree just came uh, completely out here, completely just uprooted, and we're going to have to kind of get this cleaned on up. I was a bit busy all week, so I thought, hey, we'll just do it on the weekend here. So what I'm thinking, guys, this is the perfect wood for firewood, so I actually want to rent a log splitter. I think Home Depot or one of the local stores rents them, and I want to uh, kind of split this here and have it ready to go. We could have campfires, and... And uh, we'll definitely use this during the winter as well. So that's one thing we're going to have to do. And I'm going to have to call up a tree company to see if we get this uh, kind of stump cleared on out. Probably just stump grind right down. Probably an inch or two below the grass. Now there is a full mod list up on my website link down below. And please hit the like button. It's much appreciated as it does help out with the YouTube algorithms. Let's come on over here. Diesel's always looking for food. He's always running around. And I will say, guys, he's much more of an outside dog. He really uh, comes inside. He only comes inside during really the winter months here. But he's somewhere roaming around uh, the big property here. And I think where the farmer is going to be coming over for a uh, barbecue later on today here. But one thing guys I do want to go swimming a lot more in the pool I've been taking a lot of time the chlorine's good everything's good to go here for it so that's a good thing but guys I'm thinking we should probably get going on getting that tree cleaned on up the quicker we do that we could do a few other things and I will say guys as I was leaving this morning in the RS the neighbor came out and he said he actually has something coming later and he said to come by once it arrives I'm not sure what it is but he was definitely pretty excited about it but where is the tractor I'm not sure it's in here. I mowed with it last weekend and it's not in here. Okay, okay. I think it's going to be uh, probably out front there, maybe in one of the other garages, but we do need the wagon here and let's get the chainsaw. The chainsaw is right here. Awesome. Awesome. Let's really quickly get the lawn tractor. First time using the cart as well. Really quickly, guys, I was able to get us a slot at the marina. It is pretty busy. Almost everyone is trying to get slots here, so I'm going to have to put this in the water. I think later on today, before we uh, call it a day, we're going to have to get the F-150 attached here, but we did take that out on a boating trip. Highly recommend you check that out. That was a lot of fun. I can't wait for the boating season. It's here, and having that in the water all the time is going to be pretty helpful. Now guys, with this small John Deere tractor, we do actually have a three point on the back. Although it doesn't have much power, it's going to be good enough for a log splitter. We only need like one horsepower to run the splitter and that is going to work out pretty good for us as well. Really do like this though. This wagon though is going to come in so handy. We're going to be able to load it up and we'll probably just um, have the stack of wood probably around the shed here. Now guys, when you own a house, it's almost like something always happens. And this time, guys, we had a tree fall down. No problem. It's uh, going to be a lot of fun here for us. And it shouldn't take too long uh, to kind of get it taken care of here. Which I am pretty excited, though, uh, to get some wood here to have fires for s'mores. And also, uh, to get going on the winter uh, wood here. Because we do like to kind of heat the house with a little bit of wood. And then we do have the propane there. But wow, this definitely was in pretty rough shape. Shape, I will have to say guys almost a pretty good thing it fell down luckily the house is far enough away and no one got hurt but let's see let's see we're gonna have to make three four trips there's gonna be a lot of wood here
as I'm working here getting everything cut into pieces guys I think I have a much better plan here it's gonna be a little bit quicker a little bit easier here for us and I think it's gonna work out just better in general so the plan guys we're just kind of gonna stack all of these over here and we're only gonna bring a few over to the shed and then we'll keep going back and forth there because I don't think we really want a huge uh, stack of huge logs uh, just kind of sitting around there so we'll leave them here for now and we'll only take two or three back there with a the wagon that's I'm thinking four or five hours to split the wood here so we're gonna have to get a day long rental no problem and I will say guys splitting wood is a lot of fun here so yeah I think these ones that we'll just bring along with us here let's put it here in the wagon now looks like the wagon is really meant for grain no problem I will say guys that does look so cool it's so cool we could have mods like this here on PC and we will be back with the Xbox homeowner series tomorrow for all of you guys that do want to see a lot more Xbox videos as well but yeah I think we'll bring all these back here to the shed and I'm just gonna finish putting these in the pile all right, we're good to go here. We got the majority of the lawn cleaned on up here. And I will say, guys, the grass looks really good here. I do have the sprinklers on roughly one or two nights a week uh, just to make sure the grass stays green. But it's almost like golf course grass. It's so good. We do a little bit of fertilization. We do a little bit of overseeding. And it's probably the best it's ever looked here, which I'm so excited for. It's always nice to have a nice, clean property, uh, well-maintained, and it just looks so good here. But, guys, we're actually going to be taking uh, the John deer with us uh, that way they can make sure the splitter works otherwise I don't really want to be running around town coming back and forth uh, trying to get it to work so I much prefer have uh, the person who rents it out uh, kind of get it all hooked up here for so we'll bring this round uh, to the other side and I would take the Raptor but I don't think we have the proper hitch for it yet so we'll get the F-150 and we'll get it all loaded up Guys, I was just looking online, and it does look like Home Depot does rent log splitters. So I think we'll head over there first. Hopefully they have one. If not, there is an, uh, probably another Home Depot probably within the half hour of us. Oh man, guys, look at this huge boat coming in. This must be the neighbor's surprise here. He must have just bought a boat, and I actually did take him out on the Grady a few days ago there, so that's actually pretty exciting. I think uh, let's actually watch him get it back to, and then uh, when we get back from Home Depot, we'll, we'll go over and say hi, and we'll take a look at it. From a distance, guys, it does look like a pretty sweet boat. So when we get on back from picking up the splitter, we'll go check it on out. But I will say, guys, that's going to be so cool having an extra buddy to have fun, uh, to be able to connect the boats at the sand area and just have a great time but I will say guys this F-150 Tremor is a top one of my favorite trucks in farm sim I'm a huge fan of the F-150 this thing does look pretty sweet here but if you guys haven't already please uh, go over to Instagram and give me a follow and I am posting time lapse videos over on my second channel as well some pretty neat videos as well and I think that they're overall pretty cool here so I think let's just pull right up here to the loading dock oh yeah look at that they do have a splitter here hopefully it's not too much money to rent one of these things and uh, we could probably get it maybe for a day maybe two days depending on how much it is but really quickly let's just make sure it does have a 3.0 oh, yeah this will work no problem for us all right, guys, I just rented this splitter for two days here. I thought that was a pretty good deal here. $500 for two days, and that's going to be a lot of fun as well here. So let's get the tractor off. We do want to make sure it connects fully functions before we head back to house. All right, let's get it attached here, and let's see if we get this thing fired on up here as well. All right, we'll get the engine up a little bit more in RPMs here. Let's see if it works really quickly. Oh, yeah, boys, it's going to work here. This is going to be perfect for us. I will say, guys, that is a pretty big splitter here, but it's going to get the job done here for us as well. We only need it, and uh, we aren't really moving it around. It's mainly just uh, the horsepower needed to run that one hydraulic cylinder. 
We're all loaded up, we're all strapped down, let's get back to house here. Now I just got a, the call from a neighbor, he said he's home, and he said he's actually outside looking at the boat, so I think we'll go over there first like we were planning, and maybe we'll get the Grady out later on today, put them put them side by side, but that is just so cool here. Let me know down below in the comments, guys, are you a big fan of boats, sport cars, trucks, or all three, or one or the other? Let me know down below, but I like all of them, and boats is a pretty cool thing here, but there are a lot of money, and and they're a lot of fun as well. The F-150 has a pretty big screen here, really good sound system to blast that music, and it is overall a pretty neat truck here. Definitely a good daily driver, and yeah, we could also put it to work here towing all the different toys and uh, doing little things around the property here, but I think let's get the trailer towed to down. That should be good here, but let's say instead of walking over, I'm going to ride the Cyber Quad. There's always something happening here at the property, or one of our neighbors always has something happening, guys. So it's always a lot of fun here. He did say to bring the video camera uh, so we could record it here since he knows we do make uh, YouTube videos here, which is pretty neat here. But I'm not even sure what brand this is, but look at that, guys. This is a 35-foot contender. Wow, this is a huge, huge boat here. Triaxle. One thing, guys, huge shout goes out to Lance Modding over on Discord for sending it over. It's much appreciated and you guys can check out his page link down below on the mods list but whoa look at that guys triple 300s 900 horsepower that is a lot a lot here this boat must get up there pretty fast probably like 50 60 miles per hour this thing's pretty sweet here but let's get climbed on up you guys can see wow this has a lot of seating around back pretty neat boat lots of speakers and look at that guys that looks so cool here whoa, whoa. that is a pretty fancy look at those big screens here and uh let's see if we go to the front of it you guys can see pretty cool cushion overall this this is pretty neat. I'm going to talk with a neighbor and then we'll, we'll, we'll do a little bit of splitting and then we'll call it a day. What a coincidence, guys. The neighbor just got the same dock as us, the one right next to us. So that is pretty exciting there. I can't wait for that. Having the boats in side by side is going to be pretty sweet. And I'm definitely going to have to record that here and kind of showcase that. But let's hop on the John Deere. Now, this isn't really meant to run one of these, but hey, we're doing it. And it, uh, it came from the factory with it as well here. But let's go around to the side where the wagon is and we'll split a few pieces of wood. We're making pretty good headway here. This was only like a half hour's worth of work here. The first few is going to take a little bit of time uh, to get used to the controls here. But a few of you guys have been saying to swim in these videos. So let's run on in and let's see if we can go for a huge jump here as well. We have a very nice pool. We got to use it and it is pretty warm out here. So I'm going to spend the rest of the day probably relaxing. We do have some people coming over. The farmer that actually farms the fields behind our property is coming over as well. So I think I'm going to get back to log splitting tomorrow. But until next time guys that's it for today thanks for watching stay tuned for next one and subscribe for more